Israel is a cornerstone of our strategy in the Middle East, and its security and qualitative military edge are a top priority for America, for our military, and for me personally. That's especially true when it comes to preventing Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons, which the deal reached in Vienna last week, which is a good deal, is designed to do. Friends can disagree about whether it will work, and we'll be watching Iran very closely to see. But there's no disagreement about the ultimate objective. We cannot let Iran have a nuclear weapon. Make no mistake, this deal limits Iran, but it places no limits on the United States, the Department of Defense, or the U.S.-Israeli defense relationship. We're moving full speed ahead. Deterrence remains a major part of our strategy here. We're continuing to bolster the security of our friends and allies in the region, especially Israel, to help defend them against aggression, ensure freedom of navigation in the Gulf, and check Iranian malign influence. And we're continuing to advance our highly sophisticated military capabilities that, as an insurance policy, the President has long stressed provide all options should Iran violate this deal. Meanwhile, our pledge to defend Israel remains rock solid. And after years of unprecedented efforts to strengthen Israel's security, the U.S.-Israeli defense relationship has never been stronger. 